<laughs> Let me check. I'm fixing the camera here. Oh, sorry guys. Oh my gosh, Kat, I love this one design that you've put together. I thought you would. I was Ooh. like, the screen's like Alyssa. <laughs> the colors are just so pretty. It Let's is. see if we have sound. <clears throat> yes, we Let's do. See. Oh, it's good when we have sound. Yes, so let us know when you are hopping on. Yep, I'm pulling up to see if we can get some comments now, see if we can see them. It was a little chilly today, wasn't it? Yes, it was, and I'm I'm not complaining. The only time it stinks is when I'm taking my dog out <laughs> to go to the bathroom. I'm like, uh, can you hurry this up a little bit? <laughs> yes, we have Christina on with us. Hi. Wow. No. I'm telling you, I wish you could see how pretty uh, this one is in person. <laughs> yeah, I'm, mm. I'm pretty obsessed. I showed it to one of our co-workers. I was like, I think I did a good job today. <laughs> it's like, I really like this one. Anna is on here too. Hello. So I got to see Anna in person yesterday. I worked at the New Jersey store. And Anna came and saw me. Uh, Donna was there too. It was really, uh, it was so much fun to see people in person. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, we will be making appearances from time to time in New Jersey. So, yeah, uh, let us know if you want us to hit you up and fill you in. <laughs> I know, we were talking about it. We're going to have a big party there for the release of the uh, the newest launch for spring. Woo! So. Which I know you guys... <laughs> At least some of you have seen, um, we're uh, launching up that uh, blog again. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, you got a sneak peek of the spring, which, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I am so excited. Um, I remember Donna had commented on it. It was like, they really outdid themselves and are going to continue, I think. I totally agree. I know, we were talking about that yesterday. So, um, Susan, by the way, and Olga both wished uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Oh, thank you. So, yes, this is our Christmas uh, show, our last show of 2021. Yes, so, so that, that is, will not be one next week. Yes. So, we're going up to do inventory next week, so we will be busy little bees. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it was it was really awesome seeing uh, Donna and Anna were there, and we had a store full of people. <laughs> so, hey, that's awesome. That's what we want to hear, right? Getting new people into trolls. So that's so much fun. Awesome, and we have Merry Christmas from Denmark. Yes, I love that. <clears throat> that is awesome. So let's get into it, Cat. All right. We've got some beads to start with. Yes, we got a restock of uh, the Harmony Harvest porcelain beads. And, you know, I want to showcase them before they're gone. They are top sellers. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they, they leave the trays quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As quick as they came, <laughs> they will be gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, we wanted to show you our newest restock. So that is um, starting off with Giving Seed. Yes, um, and giving seeds, I really like. I cannot believe that this was actually in 2020. It feels like it was 2021. Um, but it says, don't command the seed to grow. Instead, nurse the soil. Hmm. But really nice. And what I love about these is the hand-painted detail is truly amazing. Like, I, first of all, I can't even imagine on any type of canvas making a line that's as thin as the stem for these. I don't even know how you do such a thing. What type of paintbrush do you use? I don't know. Maybe they just use like a string and dip it in <laughs> uh, paint so that they can get it that thin. Maybe. I don't know. It is really cool though. Just the amount of detail that you get is phenomenal and um, they're just they're just beautiful beautiful pieces that white delicate porcelain so yes and I know that these are considered um you know more autumn and it's funny I noticed throughout my collection that I oddly enough picked a lot of autumn stuff but that's okay yeah so it is interesting um but isn't wasn't yesterday technically just the first start of winter oh yeah the 21st you're yeah. right so, so we're saying goodbye to autumn yeah, but <laughs> autumn. it was fun while it lasted yes so let's see what else we got we have chili which i feel like you can chili. use all year long 
Mm. I love it. I know. So. I really do love. And they all have like a little bug or yeah, I think they all have bugs. Little bugs. Little bugs. <laughs> the chilies are fun and I love seeing peppers like this. Um, especially around Christmas time. First of all, this is a great Christmas bead, right? Mm -hmm. It is red, the red green, and green and the white background. So that is really fun, a sort of a non-traditional. But if you've got people in your life, I have many who love hot peppers mm -hmm. and hot things like that. So it's uh, funny. I was at a friend's house last night and um, alongside their kitchen cabinets, like where they end, they have a whole line of chili peppers that are like dried and i'm like is this for decor and he's like i mean we could eat one and so we did it was like woo, little spicy but um <laughs> yeah he can handle the spice i don't know about me that is so funny they do kind of make cool decorations when they're dried up but i don't know yes they do it I adds uh, you know adds to the atmosphere all righty so it says here sometimes the tiniest thing has the greatest impact not the truth <laughs> no, with us being like what five, under five two. Yep. You know that's that's what we say to them now. Is right. Sometimes the tiniest thing has the greatest impact. Yes. So next we have our eggplant. Aubergine. Aubergine. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. The word document did not understand that word. Oh really? It was like I don't know what you're trying to write here. They kept trying to spell it into something else. I'm like. <laughs> no! <laughs> I spelled it right! <laughs> get, your, get it together, word! <laughs> yep. And Donna says, my height. Yep. yep. So this one I love, the Aubergine, because it does have a little pop of red. Um, so these create a very natural look. Um, I, I really enjoy designing with the porcelain because of their shape, too. They're a little bit skinnier, mm -hmm. um, but they still jam-pack so much color in their you know in that tiny canvas that you've got there but i love the purple here and you can see you get varying shades from more of the purple that pulls towards blue versus purple that pulls towards pink yeah pink red vibe so and that little bug is a little red dot <laughs> mm -hmm. and i love how they add like so with the white um on the eggplant it adds that shine it like, does you know just by adding that look like that piece of white you know it really makes it look yeah uh, realistic which is so funny so it says here live a colorful life how fun mm -hmm. so next we have our pumpkins yes get them all looking the same now pumpkins um i think are really fun oh that's perfect because you get to see the bug there. A little bug. So the bug on this one is like a little uh, butterfly. And, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he is very, very detailed. Um, this one looks like it just fell right out of, um, oh, what are those books? Like Peter Rabbit. Oh, or, yeah. 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 Like, or like Winnie the Pooh, maybe? No, no. I think Peter Rabbit. The, you might be. Yeah, yeah you're right. The Peter way Rabbit. it's drawn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hans Christian Andersen is what I was thinking, yes. but Wait, but didn't he do Winnie the Pooh too? Um, I think you're right, actually. <laughs> but, yes. So we were in the same Bull area, park, just yeah. but different um, <laughs> uh, artists. I know, definitely, Donna. I think the pumpkins are really cool, and yeah, they were super popular. Pumpkins to me go longer. You know, they definitely go into deep fall. I would oh, say yeah. people make <laughs> pumpkin soup like autumn through winter. Yeah. Um, if you can find them. Yes, the pumpkins. And it says, make a difference where you can. The hearty pumpkin. Mm -hmm. See? It's not a pumpkin, it's a pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, next up we have the fresh corn. So cute. Now they just need to make silver pieces to match, right? That would be really fun. That would be awesome. So you have your spider in this one, which is cool. Um, and again, just the beautiful shades. My favorite part of this bead, though, is the wispy tails coming off the corn from oh, the yeah. husk. Mm -hmm. You know, like, how realistic is that? If you've ever the shucked strands, corn, yeah. right, those strands, uh, they can drive you a little batty yes, <laughs> trying to remove them all. <laughs> well, I like the color that, that they use for the husks because um, they also change with each bead. There might be a little bit more of one color than the other. So um, there is some variation with these. 
Love that. And it says, every day is a fresh start. Love that. I was just thinking, with this next one, silk. is yes, there... thank you, Donna. With this next one, is there a grapes silver bead that I am not aware of? Um, so there is wine harvest. Wine harvest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that one, but I'm saying just strictly... Strands of grapes. So that's grapes with the leaves in yeah. that circular look. Um, but juicy grapes. Yeah, no, they should. No, with the really whole wine cool. craze and everything like that, that would be a really fun way Ooh, to... A like, wine bottle, too. <laughs> like yeah. a little silver piece. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. I think that w that's not quite artsy enough for trolls. Yeah. But they could... I think they could come up with something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that embodies, like, the tannins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something crazy like that. Yeah, they'll do their research. And it says, life has many ways you decide the path. Beautiful. I love the purple on that white background. It just pops so beautifully. And the grapes just looks, I don't know, it makes me crave grapes. Yes. And the orange, uh, the little orange um, bug dragonfly, I dragonfly. think, is really cool. Yeah. So, what do we have next? We have the gorgeous golden rutilated quartz. Which... Now, is that what's in the center of this other bead? Yes. Or this other bracelet? Yes. Okay. So, it's really funny because I feel like... You could have told me that was a gray quartz, mm -hmm. and I would have believed you based on the way it looks on this bangle. I was like, I was looking at it from afar, and I was like, now, is that a gray quartz with the way the light's hitting it, or is it a golden rudely? <laughs> yeah, it, so. it's a very unique looking one, and it might just be playing off that silver there. I think that's exactly what's happening, is it's really like reflecting off that silver color, and it almost looks gray. It is so pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty obsessed with that. <laughs> um, so the reason I picked gold and rutilated for today is because there will be a rutilated bead coming out in. Um, oh yes. In the springtime, which I personally think can't wait to pair these two together. Um, I think they just with that translucent look, they'll just. They'll look amazing. Yeah. Maybe I'll add my bubble joys in too. And we bubble can, joy. We can play. <laughs> I agree. So um, let me read you what it says here. I moved on too quickly. Limited edition in 2017. The Troll Beads Day bead is the golden rutilated quartz. I cannot believe that was four years ago. <laughs> um, a precious stone with rutile inside. It varies in color from very bright to a deeper shade. The golden rutilated quartz is known to cleanse and energize. And it has the ability to lift your mood and is said to attract love. And each one has a 2017 stamp. And guess what? It is on sale. It is, is it really? Yeah. $171 originally, $153.90 That's today. awesome. I know. I was like, I gotta include that. Uh, that's pretty... Yeah. Pretty uh, cool. So if you don't have that, give it at a discount. Yeah. Why not? I might need to get another one. <laughs> Seriously. I don't think you can have too many. Um, next up, we have Calcite. Because there will be a bead, co a feldspar coming up that I think would look good with this Calcite. Yeah, I like that you picked a lot of beads that you think will look good with the new collection. Oh, Just sorry. a sneak peek. Um, I'm sure I will curate a collection super dedicated to the spring but right. just some hints yeah. um to get that ball rolling um kind of have something to look forward to i was thinking about this today i don't know if this is just me but i get a little sad when the holidays are over oh um, yeah so i'm holding on to spring the spring troll beats collection to get me through so i'm like i, I gotta have something to look, to look forward, forward to, to you know? i know i am very excited because you're right there's a lot of hustle and bustle with the holidays, and then when it's over, you're like, oh, okay, now what? <laughs> yeah, I, it's the blues, man. The next day, I'm like, hmm. Well, and it's cold outside, so. Yeah. But, or maybe I should, like, prepare, like, a nice meal or something for the next day, <laughs> like, after New Year's, and, like, yes. be like, oh, okay, I have something to look forward to, exactly. maybe a little spa day, I, I don't know. know. Olga saying, I agree. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely very true. And Linda Jo has joined us, too, so hello, Yay! Linda Jo. Hello. So, but calcite, I cannot believe that calcite has, it only was around for about five years. 
I was playing with this bead yesterday with a, a gentleman in store and he was using this on the single leather brown bracelet mm. and uh, it looked really cool with the way the yellows and the greens in that particular one worked together. So something kind of similar to number one, yeah. I think was, uh, would look really nice on a brown leather bracelet. Yeah, um, definitely you can get the tones. masculine notes with the calcite and that leather. I'm sure it looked great. Well, and actually he was buying it for his wife. Um, so she, but I agree, which that's what I love about Troll, because I helped all sorts of people, right? Men, women yesterday, and um, that's what I love. So she's in a phase of her life, he was explaining to me, where she's, She's into very rustic things, and she mm. likes leather, and but it's still very feminine too, with the faceted cut. So oh, yeah, you know. So I think it's it's very interesting. That's awesome. It's really cool that she's like switching it up. You yeah, know? it's kind of like I see. Said it's good for the soul. It is good for the soul. <laughs> I totally agree. So uh, calcite, like Alyssa said, it's only been around for five years. It was released in autumn 2016. It is leaving the collection as of this year. Um, and it says the calcite rock is made up of calcite crystallizations large enough to be seen within the rock. Calcite is said to boost your memory and is essential to people working with healing. So this might be the, like the nurse's bead or... Oh yeah! You know, That's this could a good be a idea. really good present to give to a loved one that um, works in, in that field. In the medical field, yeah. yeah. That is cool. So our next one is acorns. Yes. And I'm going over to your beautiful design. A little different. That is very fun. Yeah, totally a different type of look. Um, yeah, I personally like that. Um, I can I don't know if I can pronounce it very well. Mandragora. Oh yeah. <laughs> sir. I know that's what I was gonna say. I was like, oh you use that thing. I don't know how to say it. No. Yeah, but I personally don't want to put beads underneath it. I want it to go all the way down to the mm -hmm. fantasy, but that's just my own personal choice. Um, maybe there's some silver that is that exact like size that I would like <laughs> underneath. I don't know. But that's what I came up with. <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know or send me some pictures if you have this spacer. Yeah, um, I think that that is, um, <clears throat> it's a good thought. Um, potentially Lotus Top. Yeah, but the interesting thing about, um, so we'll talk about acorns real quick first. So acorns is um, the pink, black, and sort of amber colored bead. She's got two of them there in this design. It kind of has like acorn shapes going along it. Um, by the way, I do want to make note, uh, I don't think we can get any more of this. Oh, no more acorns? Yeah, which okay. I'm so sad about. It's such a staple, I feel like. Um, yeah, I looked online and it looks like a lot of people are running out of their stuff. They're not even showing the stock image anymore. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it, it looks like if you try to get it from other places, you have to buy the whole kit. I mean, so we have we have a limited supply. So if you want acorns, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of like the last call. That is crazy. Yeah. So acorns, um, when the oak tree let go of their acorns, pick up one for luck. Oh. So that is nested, and what we were talking about was that mandragora. Yeah, that Linda said it? to call it mandrake. That's easier to say. Mandrake. I like that. I like that. So we're going to call it mandrake. Yep, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. From, the... Henceforward. Yep, from henceforward. <laughs> what was the other one that we tried to rename? R-C-H. Oh, yeah, that? I don't even remember. Oh, the no. oh red. Red. Um, hematite. Hematite. Cal Sydney. Cal Sydney, yes, there we go. Or red Cal <laughs> Sydney with hematite. Hematite, so there you go. RCH. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that one's not sticking. So, the mandrake appears in many legends and myths. As a talesman, it attracts wealth and well being. It brings good luck in love and success in business. So, what I like about this piece, though, is uh, troll. This is the first piece that has actually been a pendant that also utilizes that uh, stopper. So yeah. it has that, that rubber piece inside, so it's actually going to stay in place on your necklace, um, which is kind of cool. So uh, if you've had a fantasy necklace before, you know that the beads can move a little bit and shift. This one stays firmly in place because it has that little rubber gasket on the inside. Yes, on both ends. 
Yeah, I agree, Anna. This would be amazing in gold. We may have Ooh. to get that guy quoted out because that's pretty cool. I know, and I love his little face and, you know. know, with the oxidization of the silver. I'd love to see how that translate, how that translates in gold. I'm sure it'd be beautiful. So, so okay. let's do Feldspar we did that one. Quartz, yes. which is that uh, middle uh, like kind of vanilla looking bead. Um, it is Feldspar Quartz, two minerals united in one solid rock. Forming a future forever together. <laughs> That's cute. They got married. Yeah, yeah they got married. I know. Like, it's just the marital bead. I don't know. It is. So, Feltar Quartz. And I like it because it takes this design that was um, sort of brightened by the pearl. And then it gives it that, that other sort of hint of light. You know, it, mm -hmm. it brings it to that lighter tone. Um, whereas if you put something darker, you could make this a very, very wintry look as well absolutely but we're looking towards spring yeah so, okay let's switch out we've got serpentine next right serpentine i really love this design you did Thank so you. cool that bangle i might need it mm, yeah that's bubble joy so it'll be easy on your wallet <laughs> easier at least that is true so serpentine what a gorgeous bead I always make note that the stock photo is horrible. Horrid. <laughs> Sorry, like, troll. What were they thinking? <laughs> Who edited this photo? Yeah, usually they don't like over edit like that. Um, so I feel bad for those who try to seek the stock image in live photos because it's not happening. Yes. Um, so it is definitely on a more muted side in comparison but the funny thing is is that i actually really love the actual thing better yeah same you know <laughs> yeah and i want you to show this in a second with the bubble joy design that you've got absolutely so after we read this serpentine is said to correct mental and emotional imbalances it helps you feel more in control of your life so let's pop those over in the center of that bangle. There we go. I was thinking back behind. Oh, back behind, okay. Yeah, maybe. I think you'll be able to see them there. Yeah, maybe, or I can hold it. No, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, so I think you could play with this very nicely with the shade Bubble Joy. I think you could bring out that color. Um, it's sort of in that same section of the color wheel. <laughs> yeah. I love shade bubble joy. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's so pretty. Yep. So really interesting, fun for a, a muted story, but as Kat said, yeah, they, they sort of missed the mark on the stock image there. Or maybe they did actually look like that since it's a natural product. Maybe, yeah, maybe. some batches did. Yeah. So if you have a, a lime green serpentine, we want to know. Yes, lime, please. Lime green serpentine. Lime green Go ahead. serpentine. <laughs> so speaking of that shade bubble joy, we're going to put wild jungle next to it. Kind of give a mint chocolate chip ice cream look. <laughs> that is kind of fun too. Yeah, I thought maybe it would look good together. I almost paired them. Um, I did not put them side by side, unfortunately, but I think they could play. I think they could, especially if you have it separated by that crystal bubble joy. I think you could totally pull towards more of the green um, and have that, that work. Number three, by the way, though, is, I would say, very similar color to shade bubble joy yeah and he's a little bit bigger too yeah so i know now i'm wanting some mint chocolate chip ice cream <laughs> sounds so good so this is wild jungle that we're talking about um it was released in autumn of 2018 and it says sometimes you need to stop and take the fight instead of running away there you go how true is that <laughs> Okay, so, we are very now. fun, jungly vibe. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. Ooh, we do not want to. <laughs> no dropping. No dropping, not today. And hopefully not in the new year either. So, we're now we're on to Shade Bubble Joy? Yes. Okay, so in the center, Kat has, um, you have Mandala, right? Yeah, uh, it is on top. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. It is on top. I'm um, it's like it's like Mandala was cut right in half. Yeah. <laughs> so on top, uh, so she's got the 
um, golden rutilated quartz in the center, then two on tops, which uh, Anna showed me in gold yesterday. They're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then you have the shade Bubble Joy in that sort of muted blue, green, gold color. And this was a recent release in spring of this year. And it says, enjoy the shade of the old tree. And this is part of the Bubble Joy collection, similar to the old bubble beads um, that were formerly retired, but they've come out with a lot of fun colors. And they're a great bead um, as a spacer because they provide very pure bursts of color, but then they're also a really nice price point. So if you're looking to start someone on Troll, um, this is a, a nice, uh, I call it sort of like the gateway drug, right? <laughs> it's, the, it's a great starter piece. Oh, absolutely. And it's very simple. It looks fantastic all alone on a bangle, you know? Mm -hmm. Or you can um, put it on just a, a bracelet, a leather, you know, they look really fun together. Absolutely. All righty. So what do we have next? Crystal. Crystal, yes, which is sitting right next to that. Um, Shade Bubble Joy. I think that one might be my favorite. Um, well, it's hard. So it gives me a very champagne look. I love pairing it mm -hmm. with gold because of that translucent, translucent nature. It allows that gold underneath to show through it. Um, yep. So pretty. Just a very unique bead. Definitely reminds me of champagne on New Year's <laughs> Eve. So that's another, another good bead for a Champagne for New Year's. Mm -hmm. And Crystal Bubble Joy says, stay sharp. I feel like that should say like Pony Boy or <laughs> stay golden. Yeah. Next up, I love all of these Bubble Joys. I need them all. I don't know why I don't have them. So we have Meadow. Meadow Bubble Joy. So pretty. I'm really into the greens and the and golds. I, I know you are. They're just so pretty together. They are. And it's funny because I was telling uh, Anna and Donna yesterday, I really like the combinations you put together because they're so different from mine, right? I'm way more primary color. When I grew up, uh, my room had, I couldn't decide what my favorite color was. So we did all sorts of geometric shapes in about eight different colors, like bold primary colors. So yeah. And Kat's always been a little bit more muted and earth tones and, and things like that. So I think it's a really nice combination. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you tell me about the Bubble Joy, Meadow Bubble Joy, that is. The grass is greener where you water it. Uh, that is so true. Fair enough. <laughs> yes, so true. That is very, very cool. So we're moving off of the uh, Bubble Joys. I'm bringing back the gorgeous Holistic because I thought we were all out. And I guess I don't know where I was in life. But um, look at one and two. They are absolute perfect matches. Oh, my gosh. And number three, I've never even seen one like yeah, that. Yeah, they're all so unique. Three is, well, it's fine. Okay. It gives off like a turquoise prism. I know, it's like it's Big Brother. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you were going to say? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, I love it. And the one and two, two especially, has these golden ribbons going through. It reminds me of like the dissipation of fireworks, like the crackling, like the way it, they have that going through the blue bead. Yeah. It's so pretty. That is awesome. Yeah. I love them all for different reasons. Mm hmm. And Holistic says the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. That is very true. It's like very synergistic. <laughs> and next up, you have one of my absolute favorites. This is on a bangle that I always keep together. Yeah. I knew you'd be happy about this one. Oh, and these are so good. They're so good. Every time they come in, they just kill me. And then I'm like, no, mine is already really good. And then I see one of these and I'm like, is no. it as good as Is it, it as good? Like, yeah, it makes a question <laughs> yourself. <laughs> it really, really does. Um, can you turn to the other side? Um, yes, Linda, we will show the other side of Holistic here oh, in Holistic. just a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do Triple Black Pearl. It was released in autumn 2007, like I said. For some reason, I subconsciously focused on autumn. Um, it says the four-leaf clover is a well-known sign of luck and good fortune. 
In Fairyland, however, luck will smile on you if you find an oyster hiding three black pearls within its protective shell. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is a lucky day because I'm pretty sure it's rare to even find one black girl. So I know. That is very true. So cool. It is a great statement piece. Um, I would mostly see it on on a bangle. I feel like that's its home in my mind. But yeah, I agree. I think it's, uh, it's a good eye item for that. Uh, I do also love it on the fantasy necklace, actually, as a spacer. Yeah. Um, it is really fun there. I could see a few of them. Okay, so we are going to show both sides of Holistic here. Yeah, I switched it around, so hopefully that helps. So let's see. Okay, so there's one side, and then you want to go ahead and rotate. We also, on all of these uh, products, Kat has shown front and back images on the website, too. Yes. So. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, I think this is the one you were talking about, Linda. If you were talking about the pearls, let us know. Okay. Next up is something we have never shown. Blooming hearts. This is, like, for us. And I know. <laughs> I was like, this is perfect. You can, like, represent. I feel like it should be our representation bead. <laughs> Blooming hearts. I don't think I can get any more of these either. Um, so if you're interested, they are available in tonight's collection. And it says, Lit Love, Make Your Eyes Sparkle. That's so nice. So, so pretty. Little diamond crust in there. Um, it's just a nice substantial piece really fun as a focal piece um, I prefer it because of the way the hearts sit um, I actually prefer it sort of like it is but it also looks really good on a fantasy too because the hearts are sitting in the proper orientation then too oh yeah so. and I mean right after the spring collection launches we have the Valentine's Day so I know I would love to see somebody take this home and send me Valentine's Day pictures <laughs> with, with this it, it's just so pretty yeah and next up we have on top which we did go in quite, quite the detail uh with did we go over it already? we did not actually go over the well, i mean we talked about it but <laughs> um it was released in 2020 and it says take your time reflect and come out on top hot dog yes i agree yeah these are definitely top faves of mine for silver beads i love the way that it just holds the faceted yeah it's just it I, I don't I, i'm really i really am into the um pieces that cut yeah, Same I agree. Like the, fr the framed, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, we were talking, and there are more framed pieces coming out, right? Ooh, two of them. Hot diggity. We are, yeah, this collection that's coming up is going to be amazing. Okay, so our next thing, we are coming down the home stretch. Yes, I wanted to show Sandcastle, because I know for a fact that we can't get these done, um, made. Really? So, yes. Yeah. So... Does Misha very know that? Oh, no. Because <laughs> she's going to be sad. She's been wanting this one for a while. It is a gorgeous piece, isn't it? It is. So, really great for use on the interchangeable fantasy necklace, which can accept um, lots of different pendants as the drop. Um, but it also is really fun as a tassel on a bracelet. You can also use it as a tassel on a bangle too. Now, this is a substantial piece, so you should keep that in mind. Um, but I would say, you know, sort of similar to the cat pendants and things like that, um, this one just protrudes a little bit more out from the base. So. Yeah, it's got a lot going on. It's got some heft, so. Yes. Definitely good, I would say. Oh yeah, let me get that. Get that angle. It's like up, it's behind. <laughs> <laughs> It is so, so pretty, and I know when the Summer Sunshine Vibes had launched, we only had gotten a few, and I think maybe just a couple more in, so this will be most likely the last one you see from us. Um, yeah. So. So now what do we have? That's, we have some ornaments, right? Can we read the thing? Oh, I'm sorry. It says, build the most majestic castle on the beach. So, little fun fact, uh, Kat and I, our family, we won a That's sandcastle so building contest. <laughs> Why? Were you going to talk about it? No, it's what I was thinking in my head. I oh. just didn't know you were going to say it. <laughs> yes. That's funny. 
So we were in um, Marco Island and we entered a sandcastle building contest. I actually had the flu while we were there. <laughs> And flu or death. Yeah, and I was like, that's okay. We can be, I can have the flu in Florida. So <laughs> that's what we did. And we built the sandcastle, and it was a giant alligator. And we named him Four, and we built a golf ball out of seashells. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was like 12 years ago. Oh so my gosh. It was a long time ago. Show me those ornaments, Kat. All right. Well, while I show you guys these ornaments, they will be available at 615. This is the last of what we have. Um, let us know in the comments what your favorite piece was today, whether that be a design, a bead, or the ornaments. Yes, let us know what your favorite piece was. I think triple pearl, black triple pearl. I'm going. That's final answer. And I really love number two and three here. If you're interested, I've never seen like clear white ornaments. They have those at the Quaker Bridge Mall. Ooh. So <laughs> you can either call them and ask Katie. They're in one of her displays. <laughs> well, isn't that fun? I know, right? Should have asked you to bring one home. I know, they were kind of cool. I was like, man. So I'm picking the whole gold bracelet that I made. <laughs> okay, black triple pearl has gotten two votes already. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I do like yeah, your bracelet. Good. That's a good point. Yeah. It's a good thing. So, Fave is serpentine. We got Meadow Joy. Yeah, those holistics oh, sold gosh. out. They were. Oh, they did? Gone. Woo! Gone, baby. On with the wind. Uh, we're at six. Holistic, I know, got another vote. That one was really good. Which which is your favorite of these blue? Of the blue? Um, ba, 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 four. Always four. Always four. <laughs> <laughs> Love the swirl. It just gives a very, like, Dr. Seuss-y type of oh, look to yeah. me. Oh, yeah. You're right. Um, that's what I think every time I see a swirl like that. Okay. One through seven. Four. Okay, you gotta make me count. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, Susan Burns. Woo! You are the winner. Congratulations. Yes. It's a little sad that we won't be seeing you guys until after the new year, but we want to wish you the greatest uh, Christmas and uh, holiday season yes, and, and New Year's. Yes, and we will be back uh, with a vengeance on <laughs> January the 5th. So we are very excited about that, and we will have so many cool things prepared for you in this coming year. And we're already working on Trollbeads at the Beach. We will be launching our tickets really soon. So that is also really exciting. So It's crazy how quickly uh, time goes by, what? right? <laughs> I know. I basically like count my life in Trollbeads at the Beach. Me festivals. too. Me too. I do too. <laughs> It's so funny. It's like my new season. Yes. <laughs> you know, oh, it's always at the beach in two months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys so much, and we will see you next year. Oh, man. She switched it up on me. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye.